Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she says she said. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. Tonight we will be talking about my jazzy life. There's something that I saw recently that um, really concerned me and this is a baller mom. Um, I saw that her kids are starting, you know, to play AAU, um, it's about that age. But there was a lot of things that didn't make sense to me. But before we get into that, I want to say, guys, that if you are new here, first of all, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I hope that by the end of this video, if you're new, that you will decide that you like this commentary and that you will subscribe to the channel. Also, Guys, you know we got to uh, feed the algorithm and support the channel. So I hope you guys will definitely give us a like as you uh, start listening to the video. So let's get on into it. My Jazzy Life has four, four, no, excuse me. She has three daughters uh, but two of which play AAU. They just started playing AAU. And I know she's excited. This is something that she did as a youngster as well. I am a baller mom as well. Ball is life, of course. And uh, girls basketball is uh, was our sport. I mean, both of my daughters played. One of them was a little bit more serious than the other. But they definitely both played ball. I, at one time, was also the uh, director of an AAU organization, so I'm very well-versed in all things uh, summer ball. Now, the first thing that was odd to me, first of all, let's talk about the security issues. She showed uh, her kids uh, uniforms, which, you know, that's cool. I don't think it's a problem showing it, but I definitely would have showed the back and probably not the front with the name on it, just, you know, for security reasons. She definitely has a lot of people who kind of uh, harass her from time to time or whatever they want to call it. I'm going to call it harassment because some of the things that they do are definitely out of line. With that being the case, uh, it just is not wise to give out extra information. So by them having the name of the team, they can go to the AAU uh, system and get more information. I'm not going to go into great detail on how, because I don't want to give anybody a roadmap to doing that. Um, but, you know, she talked about how they were excited and this and that and the third. Now, one thing I noticed also, it seems like the girls were playing with boys. So I don't know if this is some kind of she calls it AAU ball, but I've never known an AAU team because you have to register uh, each kid with AAU and each team with AAU. I've never seen an AAU team be a uh, girl and boy teams because of how they're registered and how the insurance is written through FOI. So uh, that makes me wonder, is this an AAU team or maybe um, some other, uh, you know, side organization? There are a lot of uh, ball organizations out there. Um, there's AAU, there's uh, MAYB, there's USSA. And there's another one that escapes me, but my daughter played AAU as well as that organization as well. Both of them did. Um, so I don't really have uh, the name of the other one, but nonetheless, um, there is another one as well. So I don't know if this is maybe some kind of just summer city wide thing, just something to get the kids involved and busy. Uh, another thing that was odd was the fact that Kaylin and her sister Amaya play, it seems like, on the same team, which was uh, odd because 
when you uh, play any type of summer league, it's breaking down by either grades or ages. And if it's breaking down by age, having an older kid ages up your team and puts them at a disadvantage. Same thing with grades. If you have an older grade kid and then you have youngers, the youngers are going to have to play up because the dynamics of the team, the older kid still has to be considered. So if you have a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old, the 8s are going to have to play up to the 10-year-old's age because you have a 10-year-old on your team. So that was odd to me. Um, now, it could just be a citywide thing. And then at that point, who cares? Because there's no certifications that have to be done. And the kids aren't trying to get a national championship, uh, things of this nature. Because AAU is very competitive. As a matter of fact, my daughter is in one of the AAU yearbooks uh, because she played every year, all of her eligible years. And, uh, you know, they invite certain kids, especially if you end up being uh, registered with uh, the NCAA to be in the AAU uh, yearbook. So my daughter is in one for the year, her last year playing. So, um, but like I said, that I thought that was odd. Um, also, you know, she should have asked the director's permission before she put the team information out there because not only her child is being exposed on this team, every other kid that plays. And let's be honest, people like to harass this young lady. I mean, whether it's warranted or not, it's really, it's really beside the point. Um, as a matter of fact, I recall just yesterday seeing a video, it was an older video, but seeing a video to where she was so frustrated and so overwhelmed with people harassing her that she was literally in tears in her car begging people to leave her alone so when you expose yourself and your children on a team with other people's kids you expose the team you expose also the organization now if you got people already harassing you because of your kids what do you think they're going to do to these other people they're unsuspecting unknowing and the director she or he has the entire group to consider. So that could result in your kids being asked to leave, especially if some harassment happens. So she definitely should have thought about that. Another thing she mentioned, you know, while she was at the game, uh, you know, how excited she was going to be to be there. But she mentioned that, you know, her boyfriend has to work and that, It'll be her with the twins and then uh, the little baby. And she said, well, Philip will be there and Hannah too, so Hannah can help me with the twins. My question is, why does she need help with the kids that she had? Now, we all make a decision as adult women to uh, put ourselves in a position to get pregnant and then have these kids. Not only did she have the kids um but she also knew what she was doing to get pregnant with them if you had five children you should be able to handle five children you shouldn't birth more kids than you can handle on your own and i'm just keeping it real with that not only that hannah is uh, a girlfriend she ain't no wife so where does she get automatically voted in of the team of having to take care of kids now does she mind she showed on her channel her and philip's channel that she doesn't mind helping out but it's just the fact that jazz feels that she needs help her kids are four now i'm gonna be honest i've taken four-year-olds to basketball games i've taken four-year-olds to tournaments and yes They'll sit down for a little while, you give them something to eat, you give them candy, um, and they be quiet for a while, and then after that, they do kind of get, you know, antsy. And on a tournament, especially that Saturday on that long day, yeah, that could be an unpleasant situation. And it's just because kids are made to sit around and 
have to sit like that. So she should probably drop those twins off maybe with her mom or just take one or take none of them. She should have people in her life that can help her with her kids. Now, I get that some people don't like, you know, dumping their kids off on other people. And that's understood. But why put a kid in a compromised situation that's not to their best interest? So when they start acting up and stuff, you want to be overwhelmed and stressed out. No, you just don't put your child in that situation. And that's what she shouldn't do. If she's going to see this uh, baller mom thing through, she's definitely got to get her ducks in a row. She's got to have babysitters. She's got to have someone older, maybe an older kid that can come and watch the kids while everything's going on. She's going to have to have snacks with them. Now, I was the mother that always recorded games and things of this nature. So, um, she's not going to be able to do that and also watch those kids. So, either the dad is going to have to be watching the kids, which he's probably not. He's going to be paying attention to his kids out there playing. So, nine times out of ten, she just needs to get a uh, babysitter. I'm sure her mom probably wouldn't mind for a little while. Uh, usually, the smaller uh, summer ball teams don't really do a lot of traveling. Um, my daughter, like I said, when she hit AAU age, she was on a Nike team. And she was on other teams. But even with my organization, we weren't sponsored by a shoe brand. But... Um, we were sponsored by our own organization. I had uh, a nonprofit as well, and um, I allowed the nonprofit. I created a revenue system for it so that that money could come in and pay for the tournament. So the parents, all they have to do is pay to feed their kids, and if they came along, pay for their hotel. All of our stuff was within what we had going on. But nonetheless, like I said, I just saw some things that I was concerned about. And like I said, you know, you have to not only think about yourself, you have to think about your kids. You have to also think about the team when you come to exposing kids that way. Also, whoever's over that organization, she may want to talk to them about that aging situation. Because making them my and them play up. I had my first year, I had a 16-year-old. On, te on team with a 14 and at that time I didn't know any better. I was a new uh, team and you know, it was just something I wasn't aware of. And those kids had to play up playing kids that were older than them and more experienced. And it made it hard because you got young kids playing older kids, getting beat and you know, not feeling good about it. So they definitely should think about that. They definitely should look into that and make sure that the uh, organization is doing what's best for those kids. But at any rate, um, I'm excited for her. I'm excited for the kids. And if this is something they really want to do, I mean, for us, ball is life for real. You know, basketball took my daughter not only to uh, through high school, but uh, to college, it paid for school, it paid for her degree, and it's uh, allowing her to have a very a positive and prosperous career. Um, so, there are some amazing things that can come from that for not only her and her kids, but other kids as well. So, it's exciting, and I, I wish the best for all of them. But guys, let me know what you think about uh, the commentary and what's been discussed. Tell me what you think. Do any of you guys have kids that play AAU sports? Um, if so, give us your input in the comments. I'll definitely be looking forward to them. And I'll also be looking forward to talking to you guys in the next video. Now, like I told you before, we are starting our membership program this month, later on in the month. There will be a um, community post later in the week that will give you the details of that. So, um, you know, be sure to look out for that. I hope you guys um, enjoy our commentary enough that you will want to become a member. 
um, the posts will break down uh, what each level of membership will receive. And it also gives me an opportunity to uh, eventually start um, doing lives and um, assigning uh, additional tasks to uh, our members and hopefully soon moderators. But anyway, guys, um, look out for that later in the week. And like I said, if you will, please support the video by giving us a like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Let's get it. I bought for 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. Get coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and they got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Could this shit. On the way to the VA, honey, and had to uh, dress accordingly in ha case I got to go ape shit on somebody. Mm -hmm. Or show that um, my PTSD ain't going nowhere and punch you in your skull. Yeah, I'm ready, baby. We ready. Mm -hmm.